JFT just fair and direct. Good morning, everyone, and welcome to JFD's daily market review for February the 8th. I am Haralambos Pissuros, head of research here at JFD, and I will talk about yesterday's main market movers, what's my opinion moving ahead, what are today's important events, and how they could affect the markets. But before we start, let's read our disclaimer. The content we produce does not constitute investment advice or investment recommendation, should not be considered as such, and does not in any way constitute an invitation to, to acquire any financial instrument or product. I will leave you a few seconds to read the rest, and then we will jump into our analysis. Okay, the US dollar traded mixed against the other major currencies on Monday and during the Asian session on Tuesday. It gained only versus the euro and the yen, while it underperformed against the Aussie, the Canadian dollar, and the Kiwi in that order. The greenback was found virtually unchanged versus the British pound and the Swiss franc. Now, the weakening of the Japanese yen and the strengthening of the commodity linked Aussie, Luni, and Kiwi suggest that uh, markets may have traded in a risk on. Uh, fashion yesterday and today in Asia. So turning our gaze to the equity world, we see that indeed most uh, major European indices traded in the green, but during the US session, appetite softened. Both the S&P 500 and the Nasdaq slid while the Dow Jones finished virtually unchanged. Sentiment improved again today in Asia with only Hong Kong, Sang, uh, with only Hong Kong Sang Seng uh, losing ground. All the other indices under our radar traded in the green. Now, European shares rebounded, perhaps due to remarks by ECB President Christine Lagarde, who pushed against expectations of a July rate hike by the, by the ECB. Specifically, the ECB chief said that uh, there were no signs that a measurable monetary policy tightening would be required. Yes, last week she opened the door for a rate increase later this year, but maybe this could happen during the last quarter, a view expressed by ECB member Class Not. Having said all that, uh, Wall Street investors may have continued reducing their risk exposures, especially after Friday's uh, better-than-expected employment data. Although this adds more credence to the strong performance of the, of the U.S. economy, combined with accelerating wages, encourages market participants to add, uh, to, add to their uh, bets over faster tightening by, by the Fed. According to the Fed Fund futures, investors anticipate five quarter point rate increases um, by the end of uh, this year, and accelerating inflation on Thursday could prompt them to add more. Something like that could support the US dollar and may result in another setback in, uh, in risky assets. Now, as for today's events, we have the US N uh, NFIB Small Business Optimism Index for uh, January and Canada's trade balance for December. No forecast is available for the NFIB index, while Canada's trade surplus is expected to have decreased to 2.62%. To, excuse me, 2.62 billion Canadian dollars from 3.13 billion. So that's it uh, from me. Thank you very much for watching and listening. For those who are interested in uh, learning about the main events of the week much earlier, you can subscribe to the weekly Market Outlook webinar, which I'm holding every Monday at 8 o'clock AM GMT. You can find the link in the description below. So, bye. Have a great day. And I'm looking forward to seeing you here again tomorrow. JFT, just fair and direct.